In this video we are going to discuss laying of long welded rail on bridges on different condition. First of all, our study will be based on following four types of bridges. 1. Bridges with ballasted deck, without bearing. 2. Bridges with ballastless track, with bearing. 3. Bridges with ballasted deck, with bearing. 4. Bridges with unballasted deck. First of all, let's discuss first type of bridge. A. Bridges with ballasted deck, without bearing. On this type of bridge, 1. LWR or CWR can be continued over bridge. Like slabs, box culverts and arches. B. Bridges with ballasted deck, with bearing. In this type of bridge, for laying of LWR. 1. Detailed calculations by design office of chief administrative officer, construction. 2. LWR or CWR may be permitted subject to satisfactory results of rail structure interactions, RSI, analysis. 3. In case, LWR cannot be permitted to continue due to any site-specific conditions, SWR may be provided. 4. Chief Bridge Engineer or Chief Administrative Officer, construction may further permit use of special arrangements to control RSI effects. C. Bridges with ballastless track, with bearing. 1. Detailed calculations by Design Office of Chief Administrative Officer, Construction. 2. LWR or CWR may be permitted subject to satisfactory results of rail structure interactions, RSI, analysis. 3. In case, LWR cannot be permitted to continue due to any site-specific conditions, SWR may be provided. 4. Chief Bridge Engineer or Chief Administrative Officer, construction may further permit use of special arrangements to control RSI effects. D. Bridges with unballasted deck. Bridges provided with rail-free fastenings. In this case, single span not exceeding 30.5 meter and having sliding bearings on both ends. 1. Rail-free fastenings shall be provided throughout the length of the bridge between abutments. 2. SEJ of the LWR should be located such that bridge does not fall in the breathing length of the LWR. 3. The approach track up to 50 meters on both sides shall be well anchored by providing PRC sleepers with elastic rail clips with adequate tow load so as to arrest creep. 4. The ballast section of approach track up to 50 meter shall be heaped up to the foot of the rail on the shoulders and kept in well compacted and consolidated condition during the months of extreme summer and winter. With above condition, Maximum overall length of bridges permitted on LWR or CWR with rail-free fastening shall be. 1. Maximum overall length permitted is 45 meters with 52 kilograms per meter rail in temperature zone I. 2. Maximum overall length permitted is 27 meters with 52 kilograms per meter rail in temperature zone 2. 2. Maximum overall length permitted is 27 meters with 52 kilograms per meter rail in temperature zone 3. 3. Maximum overall length permitted is 27 meters with 52 kilograms per meter rail in temperature zone 4. 4. Maximum overall length permitted is 30 meters with 60 kilograms per meter rail in temperature zone I. 5. Maximum overall length permitted is 11 meters with 60 kilograms per meter rail in temperature zone 2. 6. Maximum overall length permitted is 11 meters with 60 kilograms per meter rail in temperature zone 3. 
7. Maximum overall length permitted is 11 meters with 60 kilograms per meter rail in temperature zone 4. Now, let's discuss 4. Bridges provided with rail-free fastenings and partly box anchored. With single span not exceeding 30.5 meter and having sliding bearings at both ends. 1. On each span, 4 central sleepers shall be box anchored with fair V or similar type creep anchors. 2. For fair V type anchors, typical drawing numbers. RDSOT N45 for 60 kg rail section and RDSOT 10327 for 52 kg rail section may be referred. 3. The remaining sleepers shall be provided with rail-free fastenings. 4. SEJ of the LWR should be located such that bridge does not fall in the breathing length of the LWR. 5. The approach track up to 50 meters on both sides shall be well anchored by providing PRC sleepers with elastic rail clips with adequate tow load so as to arrest creep. 6. The ballast section of approach track up to 50 meter shall be heaped up to the foot of the rail on the shoulders and kept in well compacted and consolidated condition during the months of extreme summer and winter. 7. The girders shall be centralized with reference to the location strips on the bearing before laying LWR CWR. 8. The sliding bearings shall be inspected during the months of March and October each year and cleared of all foreign materials. 9. Lubrication of the bearings shall be done once in two years. With above condition, maximum overall length of bridges permitted on LWR or CWR with rail free fastening and partly box anchored shall be. 1. Maximum overall length permitted is 90 meters with 52 kilograms per meter rail in temperature zone I. 2. Maximum overall length permitted is 58 meters with 52 kilograms per meter rail in temperature zone 2. 3. Maximum overall length permitted is 43 meters with 52 kg per meter rail in temperature zone 3. 4. Maximum overall length permitted is 43 meters with 52 kg per meter rail in temperature zone 4. 5. Maximum overall length permitted is 77 meters with 60 kg per meter rail in temperature zone I. 6. Maximum overall length permitted is 42 meters with 60 kg per meter rail in temperature zone 2. 7. Maximum overall length permitted is 23 meters with 60 kg per meter rail in temperature zone 3. 8. Maximum overall length permitted is 23 meters with 60 kg per meter rail in temperature zone 4. Now, let's discuss when LWR or CWR may also be continued over a bridge with the provision of SEJ at the far end approach of the bridge using rail-free fastenings over the girder bridge. 1. In rail temperature zone 4, with a maximum SEJ movement of 190 mm and an overall bridge length of 55 m, an initial gap of 7.0 cm should be provided at temperature TD. 2. In rail temperature zone 3, a bridge 70 m long using an SEJ with 190 mm movement requires an initial gap of 7.0 cm. 3. For rail temperature zone 2, when the SEJ allows a movement of 190 mm and the bridge is 110 m long, an initial gap of 6.5 cm is recommended. 4. In rail temperature zone I, 
with 190 mm SEJ movement and a bridge length of 160 m, the required initial gap is 6.5 cm. 5. When the SEJ has a maximum movement of 120 mm in rail temperature zone 2 and the bridge is 20 m long, an initial gap of 4.0 cm is to be provided. 6. In rail temperature zone I, for a 50 m long bridge using a 120 mm movement SEJ, the initial gap to be provided is 4.0 cm. 7. SEJ is to be installed 15 m away from the abutments. 8. Improved SEJ with two gaps of 65 mm, max each, drawing no. RDSOT 6922 and RDSOT 6930 may also be used for laying at far end approach of bridges in lieu of IRS design SEJ with 120 mm max gap. 9. Welded rails may be provided from pier to pier with rail-free fastenings and with SEJ on each pier. 10. The rail shall be box anchored on four sleepers at the fixed end of the girder if the girder is supported on rollers on one side and rockers on other side. 11. In case of girder supported on sliding bearings on both sides, the central portion of the welded rails over each span shall be box anchored on four sleepers. 12. Welded rails may be provided over a single span bridge with rail free fastenings and SEJs with 190 mm gap at 30 meters away from both abutments. 13. The rail shall be box anchored on four sleepers at the fixed end of the bridge if bridge is supported on rollers on one side and rockers on other side. 14. In case of bridge supported on sliding bearings on both sides, the central portion of the welded rails shall be box anchored on four sleepers. 15. The approach track up to 50 meters on both sides shall be well anchored by PRC sleepers with elastic rail clips with minimum to load as specified. 16. The installation temperature of such welded panels shall be equal to TM. 17. In temperature zone 4, the maximum allowable length for a single span girder bridge is 75 meters. 18. In temperature zone 3, a single span girder bridge can be constructed up to a length of 87 meters. 19. For temperature zone 2, the permitted maximum length of a single span girder bridge is 110 meters. 20. In temperature zone I, single span girder bridges can be built up to a maximum length of 146 meters. 21. Bridges on which LWR or CWR is not permitted or provided as per above shall be isolated by a minimum length of 30 meter of well-anchored PSC sleeper track on either side.